Hello, um, my name's Mark, and uh, this is the first time you've seen me um, speaking to you on camera like this. Uh, obviously, you've seen my other videos, but this is the first time I've actually spoken to you as a collective uh, of my subscribers. So I'd just like to thank you very much, uh, all of you, for your support and uh, for subscribing to me and watching my videos. I do really appreciate what you're what you've been doing for me. Um, so I decided to create a few videos of how to um, for spirit communication. So in this first video, I want to show you how to use dowsing rods uh, to talk to the spirits. Uh, and if you don't know what dowsing rods, these are dowsing rods here. Um, there's two rods bent in an L shape. You can make these yourself. I made these, um, or you can buy them. Just look online, type in dowsing rods, and you can buy dowsing uh, rods online. Now, hopefully the spirits are with us uh, at the moment. They probably are, because they're always around me. Um, so with these, what you need to do is you hold them loosely in your hands with your thumbs like that, not touching the top, but just to the side. And what you need to do is keep your elbows close into your body and try and be as still as possible when you're, when you're using these. Okay, so the first thing we need to establish is a yes and no answer. Um, so we can ask questions and then we can get yes and no answers from the spirits. So first of all, I'm going to call out and I'm going to ask if there's any spirits uh, with me that want to come forward and communicate with me for this video uh, I'd be much appreciated could you please show me your yes answer please what's your yes answer okay so you can see that the left rod is moving um, inwards and the right rod is staying still so this is my yes answer, so it's uh, the left rod moving in, right one staying still. Once you finish asking the question, bring it down, relax, and then bring it back up to the uh, starting position. Again, nice and loosely in your hands, try not to move, keep your elbows in close to your body. Okay, thank you, could I get your no answer please? What's your no answer? Okay, so for me, my no answer is the dowsing rods will, will cross in the middle there. So thank you very much. Okay, so now we've established a yes and a no answer with the dowsing rods. We can start to um, ask questions like, uh, are you male or female? Um, you can even get names. What you need to do first is you need to establish the first letter of the first name. So you can ask the spirit to move it to the yes answer when you get to the first letter of their first name and then you can go on through the letters and so on or you can take a guess and see whether you've got it right or not um, but it is best to go letter by letter just to make sure it is the correct name so let's just ask a couple of questions here okay so are we speaking to a male please thank you very much so let's move to the yes position we're speaking to a male spirit at the moment. Okay, I really want to try and find out what your name is, okay, your first name. Could you tell me the first letter of your first name? Is that okay? Thank you very much. So again, to the yes. So it's okay for, to ask. Okay, I want to go through the letters of the alphabet now. I want you to give me the first letter of your first name. So just move the rod to the S position when I get to that letter. Is it A, B, C, D, E, E? Okay, so it's moved to yes for E, okay. So we know the name begins with the letter E. Now we move on to the next letter. Okay, so second letter, please. Is it A, B, C, 
D D D okay E D go and reset now I'm just gonna take a guess uh, E D is not me names but there must there might be but uh, I'll just take a guess so is it Ed Ed Thank you. Can I just confirm your name is Ed, please? Ed. Okay, so we've got an Ed. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Ed, so uh, thank you for telling me your name. Uh, I want to try and find out what your age is. So to find the age, um, same kind of thing, but I'm going to go through. Uh, the numbers so is it between 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 right, here we go 40 to 50 so it's between 40 and 50 is age so we can narrow that down even more so we need to go through the numbers now so is it 40 41 42 is it 42 I'm just going to confirm because it moved on 41 a little bit uh, is it 42 please yeah 42 really strong okay Okay, so you can see how this is starting to work now, so you can ask questions. You can begin to start to make a real uh, detailed profile about a person. Um, what year they were born, what year they died. Uh, again, with the years, you just go through, uh, were you born in the 1900s? Were you born in the 1800s? Were you born in the 1700s? Seventeen hundreds, born in the seventeen hundreds, and again you can go through. Is it seventeen hundred to seventeen ten? Seventeen ten to seventeen twenty. Early seventeen hundreds, seventeen ten to twenty, seventeen twenty. Thank you. Is it seventeen ten? Seventeen eleven. 1712 1712 born 1712 okay so you can see again how it's, we're, get, we're getting a profile now of this person um, now you can keep on going you can ask uh, lots of questions uh, I live in Portsmouth so you can ask, did, did you come from Portsmouth, Ed? Did you come from Portsmouth? Okay, so Ed came from Portsmouth. You can find out about jobs. Uh, Ed, did you used to work? Okay, so what jobs? Um, did you work in a pub? Public house? You did. Okay. Okay. Sometimes what happens is you get uh, with the names or something like this, you get it in your head. It's like an instant um, in your head. It tells you what it is, and you just can't get rid of it. And once you say it, it normally is correct. And I think that's the spirit trying to tell you um, what it is. But it's it gets in your head. So you can't get rid of it. As soon as you say it, it's correct. Um, okay, Ed, uh, I'm going to stop the video now. So thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you. Okay. So, that is how dowsing works uh, with the dowsing rods. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
please uh, subscribe, like and share the videos. Again, I'm really grateful for your support and uh, for watching um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.